Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's another word problem on whole numbers and we're going to solve it using models. Okay, so it says each month Lee pays bills for electricity and water. If she pays $36 a month for electricity, observe this, this is $36 a month. Okay, $36 a month for electricity and $722. $720 a year for electricity and water together. This is $720 a year. Okay, observe that. This is a year and uh, for electricity, it was given a month just for electricity. Anyway, so the question is, if she pays $36 a month for electricity and $720 a year for electricity and water combined, find the amount of money she pays for water each month. Okay, so two things, there are two things that are given to us that she pays $36 a month for electricity and she pays $720 a year for electricity and water combined. Okay, so let's let's first draw a model diagram uh, which represents the amount of money that she pays in bills for electricity and water each month. Okay, not year, each month. So this is, let's say, this is the model for, so this is the block for the amount that she pays for electricity and say this is the block which is which tells you the sum of money that she pays for water each month so let's uh, color code them say this is purple purple for electricity and yellow for water uh, let's write down this is electricity electricity and this is water okay so what do we have here we have that she pays $36 a month for electricity so this purple block is equal to $36 let me write that down here that this is monthly bill okay monthly bill so for electricity she pays $36 now we don't know how much she pays for water and this is what we have to find out now what else is given to us we have 720 dollars a year for electricity and water combined so what does that mean for one month how much does she pay for electricity and water combined well if she pays 720 dollars a year then she pays $720 divided by 12 each month, right? Because a year has got 12 months. And if you divide 720 by 12 months, what you get? You get, you get 720 divided by 12 and that's equal to 6, 60. All right, so she pays $60 a month for electricity and water together. So if you divide... If you want to find out what this is, electricity plus water each month, you do this. 720 divided by 12 and that's $60. So this is equal to 720 divided by 12 and that's equal to $60. So what do we have here? We have that she pays $36 in electricity bills and she pays $60 in electricity and water bills combined. So then how much does she pay for water each month? Well, this is pretty simple. If you just look at the model diagram, you can tell that she pays $60 minus $36 for water per month, right? So what do we have? We have $60 minus $36 and that's equal to $24 and $24 per month for water bill. So that's your... $24 and I think that's what is asked of us. How much does she pay for water each month? Well, she pays, so you can write that down here. Lee pays $24 for water each month. All right, that's that. That's it about this word problem. For more word problems and for practice exercises, as usual, visit www homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.